Hi guys, it's James from Wex Photo Video and today we are at Woburn Deer Park to look at what camera is right for you, mirrorless versus DSLR. Now the main difference between a DSLR and mirrorless camera, firstly is obviously the name. DSLR stands for Digital Single Lens Reflex. What it does is it uses a mirror and basically a prism system to allow you to view the photo. Then the mirror moves out the way and basically shows off the sensor, which then takes the photo. Where a mirrorless, as the name states, doesn't have that mirror, it's a new type of camera. Now the other big difference between mirrorless and DSLR cameras is the viewfinder. In a DSLR, you'll get an optical viewfinder, so you're actually seeing what is in real life. You're not seeing it through an interpretation of the sensor. Where a mirrorless camera, because obviously there is no mirror, it uses an electronic viewfinder. So you're basically using the sensor to view your images. Think of it like a tiny little screen. You're actually seeing what the sensor is seeing, not is what's true to life. Now there's pros and cons to both. With an optical viewfinder, you have to use a light meter to expose your photos correctly. Where with a viewfinder, especially an electronic one, you get a thing called exposure simulation, where you can actually use the screen to show you how bright or how dark your photo is. Now again, this is very opinion based, so I can't really say which one's better. In my opinion, I prefer an electronic, but I know so many people that love an optical viewfinder. Right, to make this comparison as fair as possible, we've chosen the same brand and also the same type of camera. So, in the DSLR corner, we've got the Canon EOS 5D Mark IV. And then in the mirrorless corner, we've got kind of the newer version of that, or the mirrorless equivalent of the 5D Mark IV, the Canon EOS R5. But obviously, do bear in mind that it doesn't just go for Canon, it's the same for pretty much every single camera brand and pretty much the difference between main DSLR and mirrorless. But just to make it nice and fair, we're using the same brand and also the same type of camera. Right, so throughout this video, we're gonna try different types of photography and we've started off with wildlife. We've got some red deer behind me. Now, I think the biggest difference between DSLR and mirrorless is its autofocus. So I take the Canon 5D Mark IV as an example. This has got 64 cross-type autofocus points. They cover around 60% of the field of view, which is really good for a DSLR, but the Canon R5 really does blow that out of the water with a 1,056 cross-type autofocus points. Pretty much all of them are selectable and it covers roughly 98% of the field of view. So right up pretty much to the very corners. You've also got tracking as well. So you've got animal tracking, which is great for the deer behind us. It will find the deer in the frame and pretty much just lock on. And it's the same for portraits. You can select eye, head, face. The benefits of a mirrorless camera are far better than a traditional DSLR, simply because they're far more reliable when it comes to its autofocus. Now it isn't just the cameras that are different when it comes to mirrorless and DSLR, you've also got the lenses to consider as well. Now with DSLR lenses, and especially Canon, you get a thing called an EF mount. And with mirrorless, you've also got a brand new RF mount because obviously the mount has changed so you can use all of their new RF lenses. You can obviously use DSLR lenses on a mirrorless body if you buy one of these. This is an EF to RF adapter, which will let you use basically all of the EF lenses on your brand new RF camera. But you can't do it the other way around. So you can't use a mirrorless lens on a DSLR body. So if you want to become a professional photographer and you really want to utilize all the brand new equipment, me personally always recommend a mirrorless body because you've got all that amazing glass that's available. Now another thing to consider is what you're using the camera for. 
DSLR and mirrorless are quite different when it comes to video quality. And that's simply because mirrorless cameras are far newer. They're gonna have the latest and greatest specs because they're newer cameras. So take the R5, for example, that came out in August 2020, where the Canon 5D Mark IV came out in 2016, so four years older. So because of that, naturally, the R5 is gonna have better video specs. So for instance, the R5 can shoot up to 8K 30 frames per second and up to 4K up to 120, as well as shooting higher frames a second in photography as well, up to 20 frames per second, where, to be honest, this can barely shoot 4K. It can shoot 4K with a crop of 1.75, and it's usable in some situations, but as you can see, the R5 really does blow it out of the water with video specs. So if you're a hybrid shooter or you're more orientated towards video, I would highly recommend looking at, to be honest, any mirrorless camera out today. But if you just want to take photos and that's all you want to focus on, because I know there's a lot of you out there that just want to take photography, then DSLR is still an option in 2023. One of the most important benefits of DSLRs though is the price. They are a huge amount cheaper than mirrorless bodies, so if you want to save a bit of money, they're a really good option. Especially because of the huge amount of used DSLRs that are out there on the market. Because DSLRs have been around so long, there are so many used ones to pick from, so pretty much whatever camera you want, you won't have to pay full price if you don't want to. You can buy a used body and just save that little bit of extra cash. The same goes for the lenses. The lenses tend to be a huge amount cheaper than mirrorless ones too, and there's a far more vast lens range. So again, if you wanna save a little bit of money or you just wanna have a larger lens option, then do definitely take a look at DSLR because you'll find they're just so much more cost effective than mirrorless alternatives. Now, if you're considering buying a new camera and you're wondering the difference between mirrorless and DSLR, one thing to definitely think about is battery life. Now, battery life on a DSLR, to be honest with you, can last all day if you're conservative with you know, turning it on and turning it off when you want to use it. Where mirrorless cameras, on the other hand, because you know they've got a larger screen and they've got a little bit more processing power, they take roughly the same battery. Like You can use the same battery in the 5D than you can do in the R5, which I think is great, but because it's the same battery, it really munches on that battery and it doesn't last anywhere near as long than a traditional DSLR. So if you are thinking of upgrading to mirrorless from a DSLR, one thing to definitely think about is buying more batteries. Now, one common problem with mirrorless is because there is no mirror in the way, you do get a lot more dust on your sensor. So for instance, today there's a lot of pollen around because we are kind of just coming out of the springtime and you can, when swapping out lenses, get pollen and dust and debris on your sensor, which you mean you have to clean it a lot more often. Now with a DSLR, because you've got a mirror in the way and obviously that shutter does come down to protect the sensor on most DSLR cameras, there's less maintenance when it comes to constantly cleaning your sensor. Maybe every six to 12 months if you're a professional photographer, but with mirrorless, I recommend doing it a lot more often, especially if you go to a dusty environment or you're just simply out and about a lot more and you're swapping out lenses continuously it's a lot more prone to getting dust on your sensor. So with DSLRs, I think the maintenance of just simply cleaning your sensor is a lot better value for money. And the last big difference between mirrorless and DSLR is the physical size and weight of the camera bodies and lenses. Mirrorless bodies, simply because they don't need a mirror to move up and down and they don't have a large prism system like with, for instance, a DSLR, they can be far smaller and lighter. And it's the same when it comes to lenses. I've got the 16 to 35 mil and the 15 to 35 mil, both f2.8 and the f2.8 RF is far lighter and far smaller and it comes with a big benefit of image stabilization where this one doesn't. So if you're after a smaller and lighter kit bag, mirrorless cameras are definitely better off. But you can still get small DSLR cameras. So you've just got to shop around to work out what one is right for you. So what are the top reasons to get yourself a DSLR camera in 2023? Well, 
First thing really is the grip. I think it's a really nice, comfortable, they're usually a chunkier cameras. So if you've got larger hands like myself and you're after a nice, comfortable camera to hold all day, then definitely a DSLR is the way to go. And also it comes to a battery life. If you're after a camera that lasts all day on just one battery, like for instance today, shot and it's only got half battery life. So yeah, a DSLR is a lot more energy efficient. And the last thing I'd say is they are far cheaper than mirrorless cameras. You can get them secondhand, and because they're not the latest and greatest, you can get yourself really good value for money if you're thinking of getting yourself a DSLR. So what are the top reasons to get yourself a mirrorless camera? Well, firstly, they are far smaller and lighter than traditional DSLRs, like full frame to full frame or APS-C to APS-C. Another reason is they're usually more heavily packed with specs. They're usually the latest and greatest. So you've got the best photography specs, fastest frames per second, and you've also got things like great video specs as well. So if that's important to you, a mirrorless camera is probably preferred over an older DSLR. My recommendation, if you are a DSLR shooter and you're a little bit, you're not too sure, come to one of the WEX stores and have a look at what the latest and greatest. Most of the Canon R5 as well as the new Nikon Z8 is available in most stores. And you can pick it up and try it out for yourself and see what it's like. Compare it to the current camera that you've got. That's what I recommend. Just get it in your hand and see if you like it. Anyway, that's enough from me. I've been James for WEX Photo Video and I'll catch you guys next time.